Good morning, friends. Are you guys ready to sing together? Good morning, Blue Jay friends. And how are you today? We come to meeting to sing and laugh and play. And when we're up, we're up. And when we're down, we're down. And when we're in the middle, we're not up or down. So roll your hands real slow. And roll them really fast. And give your hands a clap, clap, clap. And place them in your lap, lap, lap. Great job. All right. What song should we do next? Now you guys think about some Baby Shark. Sound good? Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark, do, 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 do. Baby Shark. Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark do 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 do. Mommy shark. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark do 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 do. Daddy shark. Grandma shark do 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 do. Grandma shark do 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 do. Grandma shark do 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 do. Grandma shark. Grandpa shark do 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 do. Grandpa shark do 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 do. Grandpa shark do 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 do. Grandpa shark. Let's go hunt do 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 do. Let's go hunt do 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 do. Let's go hunt do 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 do. Let's go hunt. The fish you say. Swim away do 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 do. Swim away do 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 do. Swim away do 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 do. Swim away. Save that last do 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 do. Save that last do 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 do. Save that last do 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 do. Save that last. Great job, my friends. All right, let's do one more song. How about hmm 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 hmm? What's when we are done in a little bit? Now we're just gonna go with ABCs. A B C D E F G H I J K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X Y Z. Now I know my ABCs. Next time, won't you sing with me? Now we are gonna do something kind of exciting today. Well, the first thing is I wanted to catch you guys up and show you how our seeds are doing. So those flowers I had, still growing, still pretty tiny, but they're growing. The stems are getting longer. Still have no idea what kind of flowers they are. And we have our basil seeds that we planted together on a video. And they're doing really well. They're really starting to come up. And hopefully that will eventually grow into an actual basil plant. And then we can use that to make food. Now I know some of you guys have already started planting at home. It's that time of year for sure. And normally what we'd be doing in class is taking little plastic bags and putting a paper towel with some water in it and a big old like lima bean seed. And putting it in there next to the paper towel, sealing it up, leaving it in the sun. And that way we can see the plant sprout because it's not in the soil, it's in a bag, but in similar conditions that it would be in in the soil. And you can see the seed, the plant starting to emerge from the seed. It's really, really cool. Now, we're gonna try and do that on video. If you have those materials at home, 
you are welcome to join along with us. I would love that and I would love to see the progress that your seeds make. I know some of you have been sending me progress about the seeds you've planted and I love that. I love hearing from you guys. But normally you would need a plastic bag, a paper towel that's a little damp, and a seed and some, some sunlight, putting it near a window. I don't have any plastic bags. So what I'm gonna be using is a jar, just an empty jar that I put some paper towels in and wet them. I added more paper towels, wet those. So it's pretty damp in here right now. And we are gonna put the seeds in here and it should work the same way. Now, I also don't have any big old lima bean seeds. So what I do have, I just grabbed whatever we do have, <laughs> which is cucumber, carrot, sunflowers, and <laughs> pumpkins. Definitely not the time of year for these. Um, actually, maybe it is. We're gonna find out how they do. I'm gonna put them in the jar, then put the lid on the jar and put it in the sun. And we're gonna watch them in the next week or two, see which ones sprout, which ones might not, see what happens. So I'm gonna start with the largest of the seeds we have, which is the pumpkin seed. I don't know if you guys can see that. That's a pumpkin seed. And we're gonna stick it in the jar. Let's see, down in the side of there. Can you see it? It is now tucked up amongst the paper towels. There we go, that's one. And I'm gonna write on the jar what is where. Let me see if this works. Yeah, it does. All right, so I wrote pumpkin above where that seed is so we know which one it is. All right, next we are gonna go with cucumber. Fortunately, most of these seeds are really tiny, so we're gonna do our best with these. So a cucumber seed, ooh, it's teeny tiny. I'll bring you guys down so you can see. That's a cucumber seed. Super teeny tiny. All right, I'm gonna do the same thing with that one. If I can get it in my hand properly. Wedge it down in the paper towel, just like the other ones. There we go. It's in there. All right. All right, cucumber above that. Next up, we have carrot. Oh, these seeds are so teeny tiny. Not sure if we'll be able to see them do anything, but carrot seeds. I'm going to put a couple in there. Um, if we can even get them eh, to where we can fit them in. Might just be kind of Dropping them down and hoping for the best. Because they're so small. All right. Well, they are in there. And we at the very least got, got one kind of in the paper towels. So hopefully we'll see it do something. Carrot. And then our last one. This one is actually going to be pretty easy to see too. Sunflowers. I know you guys have seen sunflower seeds before. 
These aren't the giant ones. These are just the regular sunflowers. But there we go. That's a sunflower seed. Sorry, I keep moving you guys around. All right, we can wedge that in right over here between carrot and pumpkin. Go down. All right. All right, we're all set. I'm gonna write some flower up there. And there's our sunflower seed. I'm gonna take the lid, screw it on really tight. And this is gonna go live on a windowsill for a little while. And we will watch it and see what happens. And I will keep taking pictures and showing you guys on videos to see what it's gonna look like. Gonna be an interesting experiment for me too. I've never done it in this particular way before with these particular kinds of seeds. So we'll see. All right, my friends, we are gonna read a story. One that is really familiar to you guys because we have this at school and it's one of my favorite books. This is called Julian is a Mermaid by Jessica Love. I love this book. Okay. I'm going to take the book jacket off to make it easier to read. And look at all the beautiful artwork. Okay. This is a boy named Julian, and this is his abuela. And those are some mermaids. Julian loves mermaids. Look, he's imagining himself turning into a mermaid. Look at all those beautiful colors. And sees the beautiful fish carrying a necklace. Vamonos, mijo. This is our stop. Abuela, did you see the mermaids? I saw them, mijo. Abuela, I am also a mermaid. I'm going to take a bath. You be good. Julian has a good idea. What's he doing, friends? Looks like he's trying to turn himself into a mermaid. Using the fern plant and some flowers. His grandmother's lipstick. And using her curtain as a mermaid tail. Oh! Uh oh. Does grandma look happy? She looks annoyed. Julian feels a little bad. She says, come here, mijo. What's she giving him? You see? A necklace. For me, abuela? For you, Julian. Look, they're walking together. Where are we going? You'll see, says Abuela. Mermaids, whispers Julian.
Like you, Miho. Let's join them. Look at that cool parade. And they do. story. It's very much about feeling comfortable with who you are and how nice it is to get the support from those that love you. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit with two more books.